everybody and welcome back to my accession with paranormal romance and this week we're talking we're still talking about Laurel K Hamilton's books and this week we are on to books 15 and 16 we've got quite quite a ways um, what did I say there was there was 24 I think books 23 24 so we're well over halfway in our our journey together and the books we are talking about this week are the Harlequin and Blood Noir and the Harlequin is number 15 let me read to you what it, what it says on Laurel's website Laurel K Hamilton is um, an author that is she has written the Anita Blake vampire series vampire hunter series and that is the book that we are, the books that we are talking about now. And then she has also also written the Mary Gentry series, which is about fairies. I have a hair. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, let's go on with with uh, the Harlequin. And it is Anita Blake is about to face the challenge of her life into her world of work world a world already overflowing with power have come creatures so feared that powerful centuries old vampires refuse to mention their names it is forbidden to speak of the harlequin unless you've been contacted and to be contacted by the harlequin is to be under a death sentence longtime rivals for anita's affections jean claude master vampire of the city and richard richard alpha werewolf will need to come become allies Shapeshifters Nathaniel and Micah will have to step up their support. And then there's Edward. In this situation, Anita knows that she needs to call the one man who has always been there for her. And this is the, the book that it showed on the website, The Harlequin. And this is the book that I have. It's in hardcover, which mo all, all but one of mine are. And there is Laurel. Okay, and let's read you what the book says about it. Uh, I have, let's put this up here for you. I have felt such power only once before. Malcolm, head of the Vampire Church of Eternal Life, is no particular friend to Anita Blake. So when he shows up in her office to ask for her help against creatures so feared that no vampire will willingly speak their name, Anita is surprised, but she believes him. Malcolm may not be a master of the city, but he's an old and powerful vampire, a leader of men, and he does not equally easily ask for help, especially from Anita and Jean-Claude, whose power Malcolm considers corrupt. That was the first warning of the Harlequin. The second warning is presented like a gift, left where she'd be sure to find it with Anita printed on the box. Inside, carefully wrapped in folds of pristine tissue paper, is a white mask, utterly plain. The fact that it's white, Jean-Claude tells her, is the good news. White means they are only being watched. The flow of power that connects Anita Blake with Jean-Claude, vampire master of the city, and with Richard, Ulfric of the werewolves, has been growing and changing, increasing exp exponentially. Their power seems to have attracted attention, and it's kind of attention no one would desire. Jean-Claude and Richard need to be strong allies now. Nathaniel and Micah need to give all their love and aid. And Anita will need to call on Edward, whose utterly human ruthlessness in her defense makes him the right man for the job. Anita Blake has the authority to pass judgment on vampires. The Harlequin have the authority to pass judgment on her. It is forbidden to speak of the Harlequin unless you've been contacted. And to be contacted by the Harlequin is to be under a sentence of death. Laurel K. Hamilton is a full-time writer. She lives in a suburb of St. Louis with her family. Visit her official website at www.laurelkhamilton.org. So that is the Harlequin, and that is number 15 in the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series. The next book in the series is Blood Noir, Noir and that's what that looks like. 
and my book looks just exactly like that. Okay, and what it says on the website is, now the old bastard's dying and I won't have time to forgive him before he goes. Jason, Jason Schuyler is a werewolf. He's also one of Anita Blake's best friends and sometimes her lover. And right now he needs her, not to be a vampire hunter or a federal marshal or a necromancer or even for her rank in the werewolf pack, but because his father's dying. He needs Anita because she's pretty... She's a pretty woman who loves him, who can make him look like an everyday guy, who agrees to go home with him and help him say goodbye to the abusive father he never loved. The fact that Jason is about as much an everyday guy as Anita is a pretty woman is something they figure they can keep under wraps for a couple of days in a small town. How hard can that be? Really, by now, Anita, Be Anita Blake should know better. Marmee... Marmee Noir, ancient mother of all vampires, picks the weekend to make her move. Somehow she has cut the connection that binds Anita and Jean-Claude, leaving Jean-Claude unable to sense what is happening. Dangerous even as she sleeps, buried in the darkness for a thousand years somewhere beneath the old country of Europe, Marmee Noir reaches out towards power. She has attacked Anita before, but never like this. In an in Anita, she senses what she needs to make her enemies tremble. And this is the book. Let's read what it says about this book in here. Jason, Jason Schuyler is a werewolf. He's also one of Anita Blake's best friends and sometimes her lover. Let's see here. That is exactly the same writing as was in on the web page. So... That is number 16 in the Anita Blake series. So if you like this series, if you've read this series, let me know. If you're reading this series, let me know. If you want to read this series, let me know. Um, I am in love with this series. Uh, it gets very explicit. It's very explicit about right now. But it's still, the storyline is still good. So, um... Let me know what you think. If you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.